Hello, humans! I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Kirby 64 in this Redux walkthrough of mine. Parts of this walkthrough are uploaded at noon and 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every weekday. In this part, I should be taking on the world boss of World 2, Rockstar. This boss is some sort of alien life form. However, there is a recommended ability that I advise using against this boss. I advise getting a combination of electric and cutter so that you can get an electric lightsaber. I talked about this ability in previous parts and I mentioned how it's my favorite ability in the game. Well, not only is it my favorite ability, but I find that it's extremely useful against a lot of these bosses, especially this one. So I've got the electric ability and I believe that there's a cutter ability or cutter enemy at the beginning of this level. There's Spike. Here we go. Here's cutter. I'm gonna wait for that to go away. Okay, there we go. And now that I have cutter and electricity, I've got my lightsaber! Okay, now I will go in and fight the boss of World 2. So if you recall, World 2 started off as a desert-like world. I keep saying World 2, I may as well just say Rockstar. Rockstar started off as a desert-like world, and then I went to this UFO-type level, and now this boss fight takes place right after the UFO. Yes, you start this world thinking, oh, it's a desert world, what's the boss gonna be at the end, a giant cactus? No, you're fighting aliens. I believe this boss's name is Pix, and when I was a kid, this boss actually gave me quite a difficult time. Now that I'm older, I'm able to see how easy this boss actually is, but I'm not gonna lie, it, it probably gave me more trouble than any of the other bosses in this game. Maybe minus the final boss. But we'll get to that when the time comes. Okay, so there's actually three of these little diamond things. There's red, green, and blue. Red and green show up first, and now we have to wait for the blue one to come up. When each of them shows up, they do different attacks, and you can't hurt them until this platform reaches the very top of this whole thing. And it won't reach the top until the blue diamond shows up. So here we go. Here is the blue diamond. Now all three of them will attack. They'll continuously rise up and down, and your goal is to just step out of the way. Yes. Now that I'm older, I realize how easy this is to dodge. But when I was young, for some reason, this I, I would keep moving. Ah! I'll still get hit by it when I'm older, but... Yeah, you don't, you don't have to move a whole lot to dodge these attacks, as I've realized. And yeah, look at that background. Now we're at the top of this alien area, and there's just sand everywhere. Like, this is so cool! Kirby games just go all over the place, and it's awesome! Alright, now that the power bar has built up at the bottom, I can actually damage this boss. This attack is actually the easiest one to hit them. They'll continuously drop these little dots and you can keep striking them. Whenever you've struck them enough times, they'll become transparent, meaning that that diamond is completely, destro completely destroyed. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get the red one before it goes back in. They use a variety of different attacks that can be hard to dodge. There we go. See, this is why, ah, this is why you use the electric saber. Wow, they're actually using the same attack again. Lucky me, this is the easiest attack to dodge and the easiest attack to actually deal damage to them. I keep getting hurt, but I, I assure you, this is the easiest attack to dodge. There are other attacks where they actually like form together and like spin around and jump all over the place and it's weird. But there you go, guys! There you go! This boss fight is already over! Goodbye, picks! And there you guys have it. This is the last Crystal Shard of Rockstar. And if it makes this noise, I think I just spoke over it, but if it makes that noise, that means you got all the Crystal Shards of that world. Woohoo! And there we go! Rockstar is completed, and now I unlock this next level world planet thing, Aquastar! As you can probably infer by the name, it's full of water levels. Hooray! But hey, let's remain enthusiastic! That about wraps up this part of my Kirby 64 Redux walkthrough, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time in the next part when I take on the first level of Aquastar! Bye bye humans <laughs>